Hi everyone, this video is set up to show you how to navigate our K-5 science resources and the new Discovery Education resource that's being used for the first time the 2018-19 school year. Navigating the Discovery Education resource is as easy as starting in the Elementary Learning Network. When you're in the Learning Network, you can choose your grade level. For the purpose of this video, we'll be looking at a third grade unit. Once in the Learning Network, you'll see your rainbow map, and science is in the red bar. For the purpose of this video, we'll be looking at third grade unit B, Life Science. Once you click on the unit in the rainbow map, the first thing you see is the overview page. This overview page gives you a scope and sequence, a learning scale, all of the learning targets or standards addressed in the unit, and a performance-based task idea. To get to the 5E standard lesson options, you need to go to the bottom of this overview page and pick the specific standard you are ready to plan. Once you click that standard, you'll get a page with a 5E lesson plan that you can follow the steps of as you choose your options. You'll see different options for each E in the lesson. It is not intended for you to teach all of the things on this page, but to pick and choose what's appropriate for you and your students and their learning at this point in the lesson. When appropriate, you will also see a Discovery Ed model lesson link in the top red bar with the learning goal. This link links directly to the Discovery Ed model lesson. You will see other Discovery Ed links at other parts in the lesson depending on where the resource and its features best fit. If you navigate to the Discovery Education Model Lesson page, you will see the learning standards and targets that have been assigned to that lesson by Discovery Ed. This page also gives an overview of the whole lesson, a list of materials, and many other pieces of information. One particularly important piece of information on this tab is the Teacher Preparation tab. This tab goes over background knowledge and common misconceptions for a topic. It's a great place to start when planning for a lesson. When you look at the remainder of the tabs on that lesson, all of the 5Es are located across the top of the lesson, as well as the model lesson bar. You can navigate to any portion of the lesson by clicking on that word. We are looking at the Engage portion of the third grade Basic Needs for Plants lesson. If I want to display this text with students, I can toggle my teacher view off by clicking on the teacher toggle on the side. It is important to note that Discovery Ed will remember if you are in teacher or student view. If you go in the following day and are still in teacher view, you will not be able to see some aspects of the lesson, like the model lesson and parts of the Evaluate tab. To get these back, just check that your Teacher View toggle is on and not off, and your materials should return. You can also switch the reading level in intermediate grades by clicking the big A, little a icon. You can lower it to a reading level B. Again, remember, Discovery Ed remembers your selection so be sure to toggle back to reading level A when you are through. All grades can use this same button to translate the text into Spanish. The text that we're looking at on this screen is the same text that you will find in your printed hardcover books. This allows you the option to have some students interacting with the text electronically, while others interact with it in a printed format based on the number of books you have in your classroom. The questions that are located at the bottom of the screen, or Tech Enhanced Items, also appear in your workbook. You can complete these questions online, or have students complete them online, or in the printed workbook. Your best bet for having students find the questions in their workbook is to choose the questions and assign the page numbers in the workbook prior to going into the lesson. There is currently a navigation issue with the QR codes and single sign-on that we do not have a workaround for. I want to take the time to share a couple of my favorite tabs with you. One tab is Explore More. This is under the Explore heading 
and then under Explore More Resources. In this tab, you will find additional videos and text resources, as well as the all-important hands-on activities and even some interactive virtual labs and fundamentals. Another one of my favorite tabs is the Elaborate with STEM tab. This tab starts with a real-world connection of the item being studied and then gives usually two to three real-world project scenarios to connect to the science learning. If you scroll to the bottom of any Explain with STEM lesson, you will see that there is even an evaluation rubric there for you to use to score student work. Now let's look at how to choose additional text to support science learning, especially when looking at integration with ELA. It is important to note that the readability text of Discovery Ed is on grade level for the students. So students can interact with this text to practice their ELA skills, but should do so by reading the text independently and not having it read aloud to them. If you are on your Discovery Ed home screen, you can search for text by clicking on the Science Textbook link. If you're already in your textbook, you will then just click the grade level of standard you are looking for and the Standards tab. In that Standards tab, you can sort by standard by clicking on the standard you see. Here in this fourth grade sample, we see that the fourth grade book not only covers fourth grade science standards, but if we drilled in, we'll see a few fifth, third, and second grade as well. We're looking specifically for the fourth grade science standard, so we'll click that link. Then we can drill down by the body of knowledge into each big idea. Since I'm looking for fourth grade life cycles, I drill into fourth grade life science and then choose my standard that I want to study, which is 16.4 life cycles. At that point, the system shows me there are two lessons that match this standard. I can click on view all concept resources to see everything related to that standard in that lesson. To filter down to just text, I clicked on the text button on the top of my screen, and then I can filter even more to remove glossary items and core text items by clicking on filters and doing a search for just the reading passages. At that point, I'm left with all the articles related to the standard for the lesson that I have chosen, and I can choose these texts as ways for students to interact with text both during my science block and possibly as an ELA center or other integration of the learning. One more item I want to take the time to point out is the additional Discovery Ed resources found under the Professional Learning tab. This is the tab that looks like a little man near the bottom left-hand side of your menu. On this tab, you will see some step-by-step -step guides for interacting with Discovery Education. There are also interactive courses that you can take to become more proficient in navigating and using the Discovery Ed resource. Additionally, I want to point out the Spotlight on Strategies. Under Spotlight on Strategies, you will find over 100 good teaching strategies that are not just limited to science, but to all learning areas. These are available to everybody as they are part of our Discovery streaming and not just tech book. If you've been to any of our science trainings, you've probably gotten to try a few out, like maybe They Said What, Snowball Fight, or even a six-word story. If you're having problems navigating the science resources, have questions about what to do with a lesson, or where to go next, please reach out. You can contact me, Stephanie Sheridan, using my email or cell phone number printed on the screen. If you text, Please do so by telling me your name, grade, and school so I can answer appropriately. You can also reach out to Leslie Kirkley, our Senior Specialist for K-8 Science. Her email and office number is also on the screen. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed your learning.